Welcome to a product feature update from your friends at Magnet Forensics. In today's session, we're going to talk about managing tasks inside of cases. Thinking of tasks inside of cases in Atlas, cases have been able to be assigned to specific examiners. More than one examiner could be assigned to a case. There can be more stakeholders assigned to the access list on a case to be able to collaborate. Tasks are more granular things within the investigation itself. These can be general workflows. These could be very specific tasks. The new task manager in Atlas allows to make those, to make a group of tasks. Those can be imported together. They can be assigned to specific examiners. They can have due dates. Whenever a task is edited, assigned, or comes due, email notifications to the associated users are, are sent from Atlas. Tasks can be added to a case singularly or they could be imported as groups. If we look, look at the task index itself, as we populate the index with different tasks, you can associate them to groups, to workflows. We would consider those types inside of Atlas. And when that's done, if we filter this list by a particular workflow group, what we're able to then see is a list of those particular tasks that can be used time after time. And because you could make multiple types of tasks, then you could have multiple workflows and, in, and import one or more of those workflows within a particular case. And you could still add individual tasks to those case even if you imported some of the default lists, some of the, some of the default types of tasks. Tasks can be added at the case level. They can also be added at the evidence item level or the exam level. When they are added, they appear just like any other task but they're associated to the item itself. If it is a specific task that relates to a specific item, then that task shows up on the item record. And it also shows up in the case record as well. The case record would show a list of all tasks, whether they're created on the case level or at the item or exam level. And in the connected to column, you'd be able to see from the case level what tasks are available and what record inside the case that they're associated to. So we looked at the task index and the ability to assign them to types to make default lists. When they're imported into Atlas, just like we can add individual tasks, we can import an entire list of tasks, the default ones that we were looking at. When you have tasks grouped together as types, then you're able to just choose that type and import them all at the same time. Once they're in the case, then they would be populated in the table. From the table then, they can be addressed, they can be assigned, they can be given due dates, they can be started, completed, all of these things that you see within the table. There are other views that may also be helpful to visualize the task. One would be the charts view. You can see to whom the tasks are assigned, the status of those, any priorities that you've assigned to them. There's also a timeline view, which is helpful. The timeline view is going to show the list of tasks, but it's also going to give a little broader view. You can see the descriptions in the timeline again, who they're assigned to, and over in the very left uh, border, you're able to see their statuses, if they're complete, whether they're expired, whether they're due, and how many days or weeks or months, depending on the due date. The views are a default choice in settings, so you can set this particular you can set these particular views and setting to where it will always open to a particular preference. So if you wanted the charts to always show, you would set that in settings and every time you return to a case page, if there were, if there were tasks available, the charts would already be showing. The same with the table view or the timeline or all of them.
when a user signs in, they would be able to select the task button in their top menu bar and see tasks that are specifically assigned to them. Similar to the timeline view on a case, they're able to see their task in a timeline view, but instead of a single case view, it's case over case. These are associated to different cases, but they are assigned to the current user that's signed in. And so they get to see the different, uh, the different tasks and their current status, if they're, if they're due, when they are due, if they're overdue, those sorts of things. And again, the editing of tasks and the status when they expire, these things come along with notifications that would also be sent to that particular user. So we hope you'll find this functionality helpful. For more information about any of our products, please visit us at magnetforensics.com.